Hey, click on this. I'm Stuart Brazel, and I'm in downtown Los Angeles for a great event. It's a cat beret, and it benefits Kitty Bungalow's Charm School for Wayward Cats. It's a wonderful cause. Let's check it out. Stan, that you're singing for us tonight. What are you singing? I am singing the uh, Stray Cat Strut. The Stray Cat Strut. Are you going to be strutting? Be... Or is there a dance element to this as well? There is a lot of strutting that will be going on. Some dancing, a little bit of singing. Uh, it's going to be fun, yeah. Well, if you're singing, then I know that we're in for a good show. <laughs> it's going to be good, yes. And, and what made you want to get involved with this? I know you did it last year too, right? No, I came to see the show last year. I was just in the audience, and I had a great time. And uh, when this year came around, I was asked if I'd like to do a song, and I said, absolutely. So. And I have to ask, are you a cat person? I'm kind of both. I ha we have a dog now, Astro, but I grew up with cats my whole life. Uh, so I swing both ways. Oh, he swings both as far ways. As cats and dogs go, never mind. No, that's totally <laughs> what everybody was thinking. Yeah. So I understand that you were here for a special reason this evening, but it's a surprise, so I'll keep it quiet. Thank you. Yeah, we're here to say thank you to Tricia Helfer and the work that she does for, for cats in particular. She's been extraordinary. And it must be so fun to get to present this to such a good friend that you've known for so many years and worked with. What's that mean to you? Uh, just, uh, you know, like anything else, she's uh, very deserving of all of our thanks. She does extraordinary work with cats and with people in general, you know, just, she's an amazing person. What makes this a, a fun night, a fun way to celebrate and fundraise, the Cat Beret? Well, I think that what makes this the most fun is that we're doing something that really needs to be done in respects of awareness. Um, you know, about 35% of all the dogs that are captured and put into, uh, into a holding situation, the pound, are uh, euthanized. Cats, 75%. Big difference. And, uh, you know, so we have to really start to take into consideration what that means. And taking you back to the good old days, what was one of your favorite moments filming Battlestar Galactica? A good, a fun story. Uh, just uh, the whole crew cast. The cast was uh, extraordinary. I really appreciated it. And we all started off in a really strong way and just grew to become close and dear friends. So I know you and Edward are here for a special reason, but it's also a surprise, so my lips are sealed. Uh-huh. Okay. Are my lips sealed as well, or can I say what the surprise is? You can is? say it now. Okay, so we're here to give an award to Trisha Helfer, who we worked with on Battlestar, and she's being awarded for uh, all of the work she does for essentially homeless cats and finding them uh, a home and, and people to love them, which is a rather lovely thing. No, absolutely. And what are your thoughts on the creative way that we're fundraising tonight? Oh, it's brilliant. I love the I love the whole idea. Cat Beret. It's uh, very, cool. very cool. All right, I've got Fred Willard here. It's three years in a row. You're back yeah, for more. The yeah. show's a little different this year, though. Tell me how. It is. Uh, it's more cast, just songs about cats. Last year, we did kind of a lot of the stuff from the show Cats. This is a little more oriented towards uh, Cabaret and um, just variety acts and comedy and... Uh, um, uh, people pop up on the screen and a lot of good singing and dancing and I get to do a sketch from Monty Python cool. so that's fun yeah and you're hosting yeah well I introduced the show and so um, I'll decide when it starts I say I'm not ready yet so people are waiting well I'm not quite ready you call the shots you're in charge that's right no but I started off and uh, I hope I start off on a good note because uh, you know you're gonna set the tone I hope so in the right way Perfect. And this is obviously something that you're passionate about. What is it about cats in this organization that you're drawn to? Well, cats, every uh, animal, I, I'm very fond of helping, uh, you know, animals that can't really help themselves. Uh, you know, we have to speak for them and, and help them out. And, uh, you know, they have no place to go to register a complaint or fill out papers or apply for something. So we have to be there to protect them and feed them and help them. And who knows, someday we may be reincarnated as a cat or a dog or some poor animal. I, I always kind of think that way and say, how would I like to be uh, 
like that and hope okay. someone helps me out. No, karma's key. Yeah, yeah. All right, I got my girl Nikki from Awkward, and rumor has it you are a huge cat person. I am a huge cat person. I've loved cats since I was a little kid. I mean, I love all animals, but yes, I have an affinity for cats, and I have two of my own. So this is heaven for you. You get to come out, support cats, and see a cat beret. I mean, come on, a cat beret? <laughs> I heard this was happening. I brought my one of my best girlfriends with me, who's also a cat person. We've been to the cat show together for the last like three or four years. And we went and saw a cat acrobatic show called the Acro Cats recently. So I'm not like I'm not a poser. I really love cats. What happens in that show? What are the acrobatics? <laughs> they play, they do all, all sorts of tricks, and then at the end they like the grand finale is that they all get on different instruments and they play like in a cat band. <laughs> Cats are awesome. Cats are crazy, though. <laughs> they are, they're really not. You can get a crazy cat, but you can get a crazy dog every now and then. And they get a bad rep. And awkward. People love this show. How awesome was it to be a part of it? It is amazing to be a part of this show. It's really one of the most special gifts I've ever been given. I love this character. I love my cast. I love our crew, the material. It's just, yeah, it's such a blessing. And, and then third season in October. Airs in October, the second half. So tune in. And finally, we love social media. Are you online? Are you on Twitter, Instagram? Will you give us all your handles? Yes. Uh, Instagram is Nick, N-I-K, Deloach. And uh, Twitter is at Nikki Deloach. Okay, so what brings you out tonight to the cat parade? Well, first of all, the cats, because I'm a big cat lover. So I have a 14-year-old cat at home. So, no <laughs> yeah, and he's actually pretty youthful. He's like a little kitten at heart. But, um, yeah, I do. So I'm a big cat lover. And then I'm excited to see everybody in the show because everybody's super talented. And I don't really know what to expect, but I'm looking forward to being entertained this evening. <laughs> Why do you think this is an important cause? Oh, it's important, yeah, of course, uh, because there's so much, you know, problems with the cat population, and it, which is... I mean, people need to spay and neuter their pets. But um, so I just, I just have a big soft spot for cats, and I want to support them in any way I can. And what's been new with you? I've been well. There's a lot of excitement surrounding the whole Girl Meets World thing, but I can't, I can't give away any secrets of it. I know the executive producer was um, told, and uh, when we went to the ATX Festival in Austin for the reunion, he was very. Uh, he said that we're going to have a lot of the old cast, you know, intertw intertwined with the new cast. So I think it'll be good for both the old fans of the show and for a uh, new generation. Like, they're kids. I know. Well, it's funny because I grew up on that show and we grew up on, like, Topanga and the hair and, like, yeah, all that. So, so it's so fun. And her hair is still great. It's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> and are you online? Are you on social media? Yes, I am. Uh, you can look me up on Twitter at MaitlandNYLA. So, and you can hook me to my Instagram there. So... Yeah. I'm with my main girl, Sean Simons, and this is year three, and we're doing a cat beret. Tell me what's going on tonight. I love the cat beret. I walked inside, and I love the setup. Everything yeah. is sexy. Yeah, it's very, it's sexy, but family friendly. Um, yeah, the theater is amazing. And we, we decided to do a change of pace. For the last two years, we did Cats for Cats, and it was very successful. We had a great time, but at some point, you gotta spread your wings a little bit. Um, I saw a piece on So You Think You Can Dance that inspired this, and it was the Love Cats number, which we have here tonight, that Will and Whitney are dancing. Um, and I, it just allowed us to kind of really um, go in a whole new creative direction and give something you know a little different to our supporters. Yeah. And I know, I mean, this is something that Passion Project, you started and you've built it into what it is now. Talk to me about the challenges of having a charity and your every day getting ready for an event like this. Um, this event is way too big for us. Um, we are a tiny, tiny rescue organization. We've been around for just a little over three years. And um, honestly, like this event is more than just a charity. You could hate cats and have a fantastic time here because there's, I mean, it's a fantastic show. Uh, so above and beyond. Um, charity is tough. Uh, wherever you go and whatever you ask for, people want to know what they're getting. And in truth, to be really honest, what you're getting is you're getting a cadre of people who are working hard so you can sit on your couch and eat some potato chips and have the world still be a better place. 
So there's really something to just giving for charity, being a part of charity, volunteering, um, and that's what this is about. And we're looking to really grow this organization to be self-sustaining. So when I take off my headmistress garb, uh, the uh, kitty bungalow continues on. So I love it, you were singing a little Cat Cat song for Sean. Well, spay and neuter, spay and neuter, kitty cats, do it. Oh, that's my new ringtone. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> 99 cents. Done. I love it. So tell me, how are you involved this evening? Well, I'm uh, Sean and I have known each other a long time. I'm, I'm a big cat enthusiast. Um, I'm a big enthusiast of spaying in your, your cats. And I love cats, and I know that people don't like them. That, and I get both sides, but the most important thing is that we stop this, the, the overpopulation of kitty cats in the world. It's just too much. And the theme, I love this cat beret Sean put together. Uh, me too. Do you see how hot those little girls are back there with their little things and their, and their, mm, mm, mm. I'm like the old lady in my suit, trucking along. They're, it's it's gonna be fabulous. Now, are you part of it or are you sitting back and watching? Oh, I'm part of it. All right. That's what I, thought. I was like, are you gonna be doing anything with Fred Willard? Me perhaps. And Fred Willard doing a little skit, a little scene, a little comedy. Hopefully comedy. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully there's some laughs. laughs. I'll lead the laughs. I'll lead the crowd. Good, for good, you. good. Thank you. I appreciate and it. And are you online? Are you a social media person? I don't even know what that means. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm on Twitter. That counts. Yeah. Do you know Twitter. your handle? Sullivan Nicole. It's like my name, but reversed. <laughs> and you're always working on so much stuff. What should we keep our eye out on right now? Uh, Cougar Town coming up, doing Cougar Town again this season. So uh, you know. Terribly unattractive cast. Right. Right. Uh, Courtney Cox is hilarious, and I play her therapist. So you can imagine where I, that I goes. hope you're a better therapist than Jennifer Aniston was. Yeah, ish. Not really. Just as bad. That's the good news. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. It's been a great night here for Cat Beret. For Click On This, I'm Stuart Brazel. I'll see you next time. Hi, this is Maitland Ward. You know me from Boy Meets World. And you are watching Click On This. <laughs> Hi, my name is Nikki Deloach. And you are watching Click On This.